this is Birdland Part 2. Um, this is kind of the part that separates the men from the boys. There's a lot of chords here. Uh, so I actually been playing it for a while this way. Never really thought about how many chord shapes there are. I counted, so between the two sections you just saw, um, there are 19 different chord shapes. So <laughs> I hope you like to play chords because there's a lot of chords going on here. Um, what I suggest doing, and what I did to figure out how many shapes there actually were, was I wrote them all down in like diagram format. And I highly recommend you do the same because there are, again, a lot of different chords. So every single melody note has a chord, okay? This is about as blocky of chord melody playing as you can get. They're all on the higher string, so they don't sound real big and heavy, but they're beautiful chord shapes, and I really think you'd have fun playing them. So we'll start at the beginning. Um, so after you play through them enough times, you'll start to see all these similarities in it. So we start out with a G chord with the, the D in the lowest, lowest point. What I'm going to do is, even though these aren't technically slash chords, slash chords are usually defined by having a non-chord tone as part of the chord. This, this is not that way, so I'm just going to say it in that format. Though. I'm going to say G over D, because that's what this is really doing. This is 3rd finger, 12th fret, 4th string, which is D, and then we kind of bar back, so we're getting the G on the 3rd string, and then the B on the 2nd string. So that's this first shape. And again, write these down, pause it if you have to. And then here is a B minor over F sharp. So I'm using finger two on the 11th fret of the third string, finger four on the 12th fret of the second string, and finger one on the 10th fret of the first string. So we have this. Then we're gonna go down to an E minor over B. So we've got a B, an E, and a G. So finger three is on the ninth fret of the fourth string. Finger four is on the ninth fret of the third string. And finger two is on the eighth fret of the second string. So Then we're going to hold down, keep holding down our uh, second finger and third finger. And then we're going to take away the fourth finger and add in the first finger on the seventh fret third string. So now it's going to be B which is finger 3 on the ninth fret of the 4th string, finger 1 on the 7th fret of the 3rd string, and then finger 2 on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. So we have this so far. Okay, and then we're going to do this, which is actually a C major 7th without the root. So it actually looks like an E minor, so E, G, B. But if you listen to the bass, Jacko plays a C at that point, but you don't play that. Um, so what it's going to look like is going to look like this. That's an E, G, B. And then we're going to do a C sharp half diminished chord without the B flat in there, but it really feels like that. Um, so. This is finger 4 on the 11th fret of the 4th string, finger 2 on the 9th fret of the 3rd string, and finger 1 on the 8th fret of the 2nd string. Okay, and then we have a B minor over F sharp again, but now we're using a different fingering because we're going to do this cool little uh, chord change with only one note. So we got this 2nd finger, 3rd finger, 1st finger now. So finger 2, 11th fret, 3rd string, finger 3, 12th fret, 2nd string, finger 1, 10th fret, 1st string. And all you do here is you keep those fingers down, but you're going to add in the pinky, your finger 4, to the four, sorry, 13th fret of the 3rd string. That changes it from basically going from a B minor to an E7, like a 2-5, right? So. You can play all of them if you want. You can play that melody note again if you want to do that. And here's the quickest part of all these little areas uh, here in this, in this section. We have an A minor over E. 
which is finger two, ninth fret, third string, finger three, tenth fret, second string, finger one, eighth fret, first string. And then we get a G over D, finger one, seventh fret, third string, finger three, eighth fret, second string, finger two, seventh fret, first string. Then we get an A minor over C, so we're going to a different string group. Finger three, tenth fret, fourth string, finger two, ninth fret, third string, finger four, tenth fret, second string. And then we get a D sus over A. So finger one bars on the seventh fret of the fourth string, third string, and second string, but you don't actually play the second string there with the first finger. You actually use your third finger here to play the eighth fret of the second string. So that last part, that part is going to be played in a lot of these different little sections. That, this is the first. again. Make sure you get those melody notes. Especially if you're the only person playing the melody, those melody notes are really important, so really accent those. Most of what I'm doing are all downstrokes, just so you know. better control over hitting that melody note that way. You could experiment with fingers if you wanted to. Um, you get a different tone that way. So You got to really be careful with the fingers to make sure you accent the melody though, but it's possible. Um, so that's the first section of that. Uh, let me just go over the chords really slow one more time to help you get the idea. One and two and three and four. Just going to keep repeating this part. It's not how it actually goes, repeating. That's the first part of what I would call like the C section of the tune. Okay, um, so get comfortable with those chords, write them down, play them a million times, and when you play them, play it at a slower tempo. Don't try to play it at like 150 or 152, whatever the actual tempo is. Try to play it a little slower. So like for example, this this metronome is set at 140. That's pretty close. So this is this is getting up there. Maybe try it like start it at maybe 80, then do 100, then do 120, 140, and then you can knock it up to 100 and exactly whatever the the tune is at. Okay. Until next time, have fun.